The land on the other side of the river is the territory of Belarus. The urban area surrounded by forests is the town of Slavutich, the Kiev region's northernmost point. And this is where the workers that built the town lived. There were lots of boats along that bank. They installed big pylons and moored the boats right there. At the time, Volodymyr Krupski was part of this exciting project and lived on one of those boats. The construction was given a green light in October 1986. And in as little as six months, the country's newest town greeted its residents. In those days, those methods of construction were considered to be very rapid. We were below all the regulation time frames. 9,000 workers tackled this challenge. They came from eight different Soviet republics, and each one was tasked with building one district. Moreover, they independently sourced building materials and brought their own building and planning traditions. Builders from the Baltics constructed 60 flat blocks. They worked in brigades of 20. The Georgians used clay plaster, which required considerable time and effort. The people from the Armenian Soviet Republic used their pink volcanic tuff. Tiles needed to be prepared, sawed to pieces and buffed. That's a lot of handcrafting, meticulous work. Even those who've never been to Baku will be able to tell that this was not the work of local builders. The interesting thing is that apart from the visual elements, there are also functional differences. Some of the planning is characteristic of those specific regions. As a result, walking the streets of Slavutich is like taking a tour of several Eastern Bloc countries, from Tallinn's wooden houses to Central Asia's apartment blocks covered with stone tiles. There are examples of Baku-style exterior mosaic and Majolica just across the street from a typical Armenian yard. There are barbecues right in the yard of the apartment blocks, and there is something very, well, southern about that. <laughs> Serhii Ponchenko is one of the early settlers. His family moved here from Pripyat. He recalls how some areas in Slavutich had to be decontaminated. Radioactive cesium spots were found well outside the 30-kilometer radius. I'll be frank. Many people saw soldiers removing things even peeling bark off the trees in the park. We, workers of the power plant, knowing the conditions that we worked in, didn't have any concerns. Sir, he has been working at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant since 1975. He remembers joining as a metal worker while the facility was still under construction. And he remembers the last reactor being taken out of the operation. <laughs> Everyone was on the verge of tears. In fact, some couldn't hold back their tears. Many worked at the station their whole life. What happens next? For a while, there was a feeling of emptiness. You enter the reactor facility and everything's motionless. When it was working, you could hear the turbine spinning. There was life going on. For Slavutic, the decommissioning of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant meant that thousands of unemployed specialists had to leave the town. We did everything to preserve the town infrastructure. We knew that sooner or later the plant would be closed, jobs would be lost, and therefore we'd need to find other solutions. The establishment of a tax haven, additional support for private enterprise and international projects helped Slavutic survive. For me, a Kiev resident, who lived in other cities like Sumy, Ismail, Slavutic felt like a resort town. It's very clean and has all the infrastructure for comfortable living. Slavutic is the only town in Ukraine where bike lanes were part of the original design from the very beginning. Vehicles entering the town are greeted by these traffic signs. We respect cyclists. As a courtesy, leave them a gap of a meter and a half. So we thought it would be more practical if we made and installed special road signs, and we managed to do it. Of course, there's a desire to draw tourists. The town has a story and it's an interesting one, but we don't have a product to sell using this story. This is what the best minds of Slavutic are working on. Reported by Yevgenia Burda, UATV.